publishing a research paper into highly referred journal and doing it comparatively fast is never an easy task but it is not that much difficult to so if you are opting these four tricks rather strategies then definitely you can significantly maximize chances of your research paper getting accepted in these top journals so hello everyone i am dr nilesh kumbar and i welcome you all to your favorite channel my research support so today in this video we will be discussing about these four smart strategies that you need to apply before or during your publication process then for sure your research articles can be accepted in those journals now before we move ahead just a quick note you can contact us if you want to join our live certified training sessions on research writing and publication where we start from the very basics to the advanced level with a strong focus on smart and ethical integration of ai so i have provided the information in the video description you can refer to that now let's move towards the first point and which is to know the level and quality of your research first and this point is somehow linked with the second point which is to choose the right journal so please go through these two points very carefully because frequently we make mistake here and because of that we face desk rejections and longer revision times so now before you understand how to know the quality and level of our research article you have to first understand the level of publication so you may have heard about different quartile rankings q1 q2 q3 and q4 so these rankings or the journals have been ranked by scoopers and web of science separately means you will find different q1 q2 q3 q4 list for scoopers as well as different list for web of science so whenever you will judge the quality and level of your research article and then accordingly you need to choose the journal means you have to decide whether you have to publish in q1 q2 q3 q4 and that is again under scoopers or web of science now let us first discuss about how to judge the quality and level of a written research paper with smart integration of ai and for that you can consider this formula l and d so l stands for literature so you must search for the literature to see whether similar kind of research articles have already been published if yes then you can try publishing your research articles into q4 journals and if you still have any doubts you can refer to the n n means novelty or impact of your written research work means you have to think about does your research paper solve any broad or global research problem or it is just kind of a case study and if it solves a real life problem then your research article may have a very strong impact and you can try publishing that research article into q1 or q2 rated journals but still to further confirm everything you can refer to the third letter which is d d means depth so if you have analyzed different methods results and validation those have reported in the literature but if you are performing multiple experiments in depth analysis validation then even though similar research articles have already been published but still you can try publishing your research article into highly referred or rated journals like q1 q2 and q3 so this is like how you can put your manual efforts to perform everything but if you are smartly integrating your manual efforts with ai then definitely you can easily judge accurate quality and level of your research article and for that you can take help of multiple ai tools however here i'll be mentioning about two important ai tools so first is paperpal ai and second is chat gpt so within the interface of this paperpal ai you will have an access to an excellent feature which is submission check so you have to click on that and you can upload your written research article and then you will have access to the numerous points highlighting lacunas and strength of your written research text so by addressing all these critical issues you can definitely improve the quality of your research paper i have already prepared a detailed video on this so link is there in this video description you can go through it however this option is recommended but this is the paid option so if you can't afford you can simply move ahead and explore second option which is to make use of chat gpt and here you can simply use the prompt like compare my research paper with top journal standards in so and so field and you have to enter your field and then you may get rough idea about the level of your research paper but to get effective answers you must attach your manuscript here and then after this prompt you may use a prompt like which level of journal q1 q2 q3 or q4 does this paper seem suitable for so from this also you will get rough idea about the quality and level of your research paper and suggestions for suitable journal now after putting manual efforts or taking help of ai tools the third step which is highly recommended if it is feasible on your end that you have to share your research article with your friends colleagues your seniors 
your professor or any expert in your field to get final suggestions for your written research paper. So if you need any help related to this from my side, you can definitely write to me. Now let's move towards the second point, which is to choose or select the right journal for your publication. So during entire process of this publication, so this point has a very high importance. So even though you have judged the quality and level of your research articles, but if you are making mistake here, then also your research article can be rejected. But don't worry, you have to follow three simple steps and by using that, you can select the best journal in your field. So the first point, you have to make use of journal finder tools. So you might have heard about different journal finder tools like Elsevier, Wiley, Stellar & Francis and many more. Let me take this example. This is one of the popular journal finder which is Elsevier journal finder. So you can search by different keywords related to your research paper or field. But I'll recommend you to match your abstract so you can paste your abstract here. And then you have to click on find journals. And then here you will find multiple journals exactly matching to your search criteria where you can easily analyze the metrics for different journals. You can apply multiple filters. Let us say if you want to search journals those don't have any publication charges you can disable this option now these are the journals with subscription that does mean as an author you need not to pay any publication charges so these are free journals to publish you can also get idea about publication duration you can refer to this duration also the most important part is you can have access to the acceptance rate for few journals then if you have only basic research article then you may limit the impact factors of the journals so Similarly, you can refer different journals on the Springer, Wiley, Teller and Francis. Now, after analyzing the metrics of these journals by using these journal finder tools, the second point is to target newly added journal under Scopus and Web of Science. So for that, first you have to visit that journals or publishers website and most importantly, you have to download Scopus and Web of Science Index journal list where they would have clearly mentioned about when this specific journal has been added under Scopus or Web of Science. So you can target these journals and the possibilities of your research articles can be accepted into this newly added journal is comparatively more. And the main reason is this newly added journals receive comparatively less volume of different research articles but to enhance reputation and ranking these journals must receive very high number of citations and hence the acceptance rates for these journals are comparatively more i mean there are slightly more chances of your research articles getting accepted in these journals but that does not mean they can accept research articles with any quality but let us say in repeated journals your research article can be directly rejected but here you will get some major revisions and you will get a chance to prove yourself and that will ultimately increase the chances of your research articles getting accepted now after this step you have to follow this third step which is to analyze recently published research articles let us say if you have decided to publish your research article into x journal then you have to download at least 20 to 25 recently published research articles and you have to analyze the submission date and acceptance date and let us say you have analyzed 20 recently published research articles and you found that almost 18 research articles have been published within the period of two to three months then there are chances that your research article can also be published within this time frame and in worst situation even though it is rejected you will get the first decision maybe within four to five days so that you can try for any other journal now the third point is to make your document foolproof before submitting to any journal and under that the first sub point is formatting so you need to stick to the formatting requirements mentioned by that specific journal you have to format entire research paper carefully you have to format your references maybe by using Mendeley, Zotero, EndNote or any other reference management tool and you must avoid formatting references and putting citations manually and then you must check clarity of figures, table styles etc. Once you are very sure about formatting of your research paper then you have to think about the grammar check means you have to correct all the grammatical errors of your research document most preferably by using Grammarly because it is one of the most effective tool to check and correct grammatical errors and after performing grammar check you have to check similarity and AI score of your document and you must need to keep the similarity of your research document less than 10% and AI score less than 20%. Once this is done, then you can move ahead and submit your research article into journal with proper and all the required files. And then comes fourth point, which is respond like a pro. Means after submission of your research article, there would be three possibilities. First possibility, your research article would be desk rejected maybe within 10 to 15 days. Okay. Second possibility is that editorial team will suggest for transfer to any other journal 
and third possibility your research article will move towards the revision process and maybe after 15 days or one month you will receive some revisions so these revisions may be minor or major but you have to prepare your response letter very smartly and politely you have to answer to each and every reviewers question for example let us say if you have received any reviewers comment for any specific result so your result is correct but the reviewer is saying that that result is not correct so in that case also you have to say that thank you very much i really appreciate your suggestions but as per these results or as per these studies you can also mention some references these results are correct so in this way if you are answering to each and every reviewer's comment and if you are preparing response letters then harsh comments can be answered you can also take help of chat gpt for specific words means how to respond to this reviewers comments and for your reference if you need my response letters then i can provide that to you you can comment me so that i can share drive link with you you can refer to that but you can prepare even better response letter so thank you very much for watching this video actually there are multiple points those can be discussed as far as paper publication process is concerned but i have tried to convey only key points but I hope these points will help you. And if you still have any doubts, you can write us through comments. I'll definitely try to answer all these comments. So do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.